My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have got an incredible once in a lifetime find. This is a 1978 Pontiac Trans Am special gold edition. It's the Y88, but what makes this one really special? 3,306 actual miles. You're looking at an original car, original paint, original tires, and it's practically show quality. One owner car until recently when he passed away. This is a really special car, really nice condition, top to bottom. One of the best survivors you'll find anywhere. Go to volocars.com and you can read all the specs study over 100 pictures. And that's where you find the prices on all of the collector cars that we offer for sale. Right now we have about 200. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and all you have to do is click on that little bell icon. You'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, join me, let's go for a spin. I forgot to grab all the paperwork, but this has the window sticker and a whole bunch of original paperwork that goes with the car, but there's pictures of it on our website. Um, but underneath is untouched original and in a really nice shape. This car is so well kept, I'm sure this guy bought it and I'm sure he had in mind this is something special, I'm going to baby it. This is not a car that just got forgotten about. Uh, I mean, there's no mice in there. It actually smells good inside. The air works. I just pulled in here. I turned the air on. It's ice cold. Uh, so anyway, you, it, you can tell this was taken uh, special care of. It wasn't just parked and forgotten about. Uh, so getting back to the underneath, of course, there's absolutely no rust. Well, you're going to have that surface rust on bare metal parts. There's no rotten metal whatsoever. He did pay when it was brand new at the dealership for a Chapman alarm and he paid for the undercoating, like 120 bucks. So it's not everywhere. They just sprayed some light undercoat just in certain spots on the floors, just a thin coating. We have the original exhaust under there with the catalytic converter, the transverse muffler, which means it's sideways, and you got the chrome splitter tips. Probably the worst part of the car are those chrome tips. They're kind of rusty. It must have been a cheap chrome and just moisture and age got to them. Uh, but all the suspension components, front and back, all the bushings look good, and all the components are clean. Uh, they're, they're still nice and clean. Um, you know, it's got disc brakes in front, they're drum and back. Uh, it has a posi rear end, but it is a, a highway ratio. It's no, no 355 or 390 or anything like that. I think it's a two something. Uh, it has under the motor is real nice and clean. The motor's never been spray canned. It's the original paint on the oil pan, so some of it is flaked off, but it's still really nice. The Turbo 350 automatic is VIN number matched to the car. Uh, and actually, the motor is too. The VIN number is down below uh, the radiator hose. You look at it from under the car. Uh, so there you have it. Underneath is really nice, all original, untouched. This could be what they call a benchmark car. That's that. That means it's like one of the most originals there are. People would look at this car to restore their car, to get the right color on the bracket and the right screw heads and that sort of thing. Uh, to me, that's what this car would qualify for. So the body, it's claimed to be all original paint. Uh, it looks that way to me. I haven't found any overspray. I looked really close in the nooks and crannies and I didn't see any signs of a repaint. Absolutely mint body. There's not even door dings. Usually these big doors uh, get some dents. Uh, it's all straight and clean. The factory pinch welds around the wheel well here are all still showing. Uh, all the gaps are right on the money. What amazes me is how nice the paint looks. It's so glossy, immediately your impression is, oh, this is a brand new high quality paint job. Uh, all the metal flake is laid out evenly. It's not cracking uh, and it's just super glossy. The scoop is not cut out. A lot of guys drilled or cut these. It's just the way it left the factory. And this is an excellent shape. I just read this is the first year they went with five colors in the bird. A couple really mild stains, some drops on it. But other than that, it's mint. Now the front nose is in really good shape, but there's some paint defects. 
uh, especially up here in the corner, they stuffed something. But the rubber is real good, but there are some stains and paint defects there. Part of the gold addition was the uh, grills. You notice they're gold and a little bit of paint flaked off in one spot there, about the size of a quarter. The original wheels, they have the gold inside, gold on the uh, birds on the caps, and those are the original steel belted Uniroyal tires. Those are the tires that have been on this car since it was born. Uh, behind the fenders are nice and clean. The bottom of the doors, all that's really nice. There's a little chip in the paint right below this trim, and there's some little specks of paint missing on the black trim here. Rear window defogger, and it has a gold tint on the T-tops. They're mint. I don't even know if they've ever been off the car. I have no idea, but they're in mint condition. Uh, the rear bumper is in really nice shape. Uh, maybe a couple minor imperfections. Like there's a little nick on the edge here. So I'm not saying it's perfect, but I'm saying for a survivor paint job, it shows really well. All the glass is crystal clear. The rubber window seals are usually hard and brittle. They're still soft. All the weather strips are real nice. Uh, we got some old stickers here from 1991. It is 30 years ago. So it has its original 6.6 liter 400 motor. And again, original. They have the Chapman alarm that was bought brand when the car was new. The batteries changed. I don't know if anything else has been changed. And I can tell you it's not been spray painted. This is original. It's the way you want to find them. I guess you can get in here and clean and prep a little more, but it's not spray canned. Uh, all the vacuum lines and hoses. So we have factory air, power steering, power brakes, and cruise control. And there's still paper tags all over. The master cylinder, the booster, the throttle cables, uh, the cruise control. They still have their tags on them from the factory. It does look like there's a heater hose clamp that's changed. <clears throat> Inside the car, absolutely pristine with one exception the headliners drooping down in the middle it's just what they do there's a little bit of foam and it just turns the powder over time uh, so the uh, headliners drooping in one spot other than that it's really mint trunk is like brand new uh, collapsible tire never used so has the ink on the tread has the air bottle the jack is stored up underneath there where it belongs probably never been out has a nice insulated trunk mat. Uh, the light works. The power trunk release works. Trunk is practically new. Interior, pristine. So the gold edition has that machine turned panel that's gold tinted, and the spokes in the steering wheel are gold tinted. That's a formula wheel. The steering column has that uh, textured paint that's mint. The lenses, the knobs, the center console. Uh, the seat belts, all the plastic is mint. I've seen them with low miles where all that brown plastic trim is faded or discolored or chalky. It's mint in there. The seat belts look brand new. Cigarette lighter's never been used. Uh, in the glove box, it's like new. Even the door jams are glossy and shiny. It says here, pr protected with poly coat. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's why it's so shiny, but it is really slick. There is a receipt in there. He did replace both power window motors. But even the brackets on the seats, uh, the cushions, the trim, uh, it's just immaculate. The original stereo. How many guys cut up the stereos and put CBs and you know, cigarette burns on the console? It's not like that at all. Looks like there is one spot in the carpet right down here, a little spot. Other than that, really meant power windows, power locks. Rally gauges, formula wheel. So there you go. We're going to close it up and I'm going to back it out so you can hear it run. <clears throat> it's one of the nicest Survivor Trans Ams I've seen. And it is a gold special edition, real Y88 car. It's a documented car.
So I just gave you my impression. Go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman. If you do have specific concerns or questions, they can assist you. They can also help you get financing, delivery to your door. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy watching our video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, and you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.